Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to episode two of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Um, I've gone ahead and actually switched over to a controller. It's just a 360 controller, so we'll see how that plays. I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit better. Oh god, it's inverted. Let's try this. That's a little better. Alright, so now that we went ahead and we completed two up in the last episode over here, we 100% that, we have an option going into Shipwrecks, which is going to be where we get the Aquarang, or Walk in the Park. So I think we should do Shipwrecks. Now this episode is going to have quite a bit of cutting. How do I... There, okay. I was trying to find the button to enter the portal. Anyway, there's going to be quite a bit of cutting, but... Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. Full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beautiful spot for a swim, if you know how. Oh, that's so inverted. I guess that's okay. Um... Ty, mate, good to see you again. Kid, hey, Rex, you saved anyone today? Funny you should say that. Elle went for a bit of a swim out near Danger Spike. Danger Spike? Where's that, Rex? It's a nice little spot, not too far from Shark Reef. Yeah, and? Well, anyway, she's an excellent swimmer, but she hasn't come home yet. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Strafe? I'm on lifeguard duty, so could you have a look for me? Well, I would, mate, but I, I can't swim. Tell you what, I'll teach you. Follow me. When you're in water, press the bite button to dive. Then tap the jump button to start swimming. OK. Wish me luck. By the way, those boomerangs of yours won't work underwater. But i got a prezi for you that'll fix that. These are aquarangs. I found them in an old shipwreck years ago. They cut through water like a hot knife through butter. If you can dive under the water and grab them, well, then they're all yours. All right, let's go and grab those quickly. And those will allow us to use boomerangs in the water. Good one. The aquarangs work like regular boomerangs, but you can only use them underwater. Oh, and one other thing. You're not a fish, mate, so keep an eye on your air supply. Yeah, thanks, Rex. Use the aqua ring to hit this switch. It'll open the shark door so you can be on your way. All right, so now we have the aqua ring, so we can go in, obviously, if it's normal. But it's mostly just a swim. Um, let's quickly go ahead and try to get all the ovals in the area, so nothing here looks like. Over here. I might swap back to the uh, keyboard and mouse next episode. I'm going to try the controller out. So far, I'm really not liking it, but we'll see. I hate inverted controls. I'll have to mess around the settings later. I'm not mistaken, I believe. Where is it? Concept art. This is just embarrassing. I'm gonna switch over to keyboard and mouse now. There we go. Great work, Ty. You've learned how to swim and use those aquarangs. With a bit of practice, you'll be a champion swimmer just like me. Yeah, beauty. This is Mott. She'll show you the way to Danger Spike. Good luck, mate. Hey, Ty. 
You can swim faster by tapping the jump button to gain speed. <laughs> Let's go find Elle. All right, that's much better. Hey, Ty. For now, let's just try to get some opals. We're gonna try to speed through this level because honestly, this is not one of my favorite levels. It has quite a few uh, locations for you to get lost, and if you don't go ahead and get all the opals, that be important. Deary me. My sweet little angels have wandered off exploring. Now I can't find them anywhere. Please can you help me? So, Seahorse lost his children. And it's up to us to find them. So, it won't take too long, hopefully. I just want it ready. Thank you! Second one. Oh, oh, we got stuck on those. Yeah, the sea mines, they do hurt you, but if you keep swimming, they really don't cause any trouble. Yeah. Basically, this entire level is just swim as fast as you can and you really won't get hurt. Let's see if there's any over here I don't really remember. level uh, later in the game. They kind of rehash a couple of levels throughout, and this is going to be one of them that they rehash. And it becomes a little bit more annoying. This is kind of like the easy version, and then it gets 
a little worse. But it's okay. It's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and just try to follow the train of bubbles in the water and make sure we didn't miss any over here quickly. I don't think we did, I just want to be sure. Besides the uh, the aqua rank, but I'm not really gonna count that. But we can actually go ahead and get our first uh, boomerang with golden cogs. Because we're gonna hit 15 in about two seconds. So we'll probably show that at the end of the video. And then at the end of the next video, we're gonna have another 15 done. So we'll get another. Uh, next episode as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's. Jump up there, get her, get the last little pieces around here. And then we'll have to do some more, some more exploring out there.
And then also wanted you guys' opinion on whether or not I should play Super Mario Sunshine as a player. Possibly after or during this. I, uh, found a way to record it. And it plays pretty well. And I was having fun. And I thought it would be a fun game play. So. I most likely will do it. When is really my question. I don't really want to stop one game, because I do want to finish this. Um, and I'm afraid that if I start recording that, when does it take longer, and then this game's gonna possibly, you know, not get as much attention as it needs. So I want to really focus on this one first, since this is the, the first uh, game through gameplay. So. Also, from up here, you can see quite a bit of things that I've missed. So, like over there, you can see that I believe there's a building. Uh, there's a golden cog around here somewhere, I think. Um, there's a ship somewhere, if I can see it. I don't really see it. Oh well. Yeah, there's quite a few things here, so. Let's go talk to her. Hey, Dal, how are you? Yeah, good! And what about you? Let me guess. Rex was worried about me again? Yeah, that's right. Isn't he a sweetheart? Well, I better get home so he stops fretting. Righto then. By the way, I found this on the way. Want it? Alright, so that's two of eight. Let's quickly hop up here. Because there is something nice for us. So we're halfway through the Golden Cogs, I think. I guess I'm wrong. I thought there was something else up here, but I guess, yeah, it's not fully true. Alright, so I plan now on going... Yeah, let's travel here, see where this brings us. Alright, so that brings us here. Oh yeah, we missed that. Good thing we came back. Is there anything else we missed over here? I don't think so. Alright, we can tell him that we found Sheila. Guess not, actually. Okay. Anyway, we have more places to be. Let's get a move on. Now, this level is a little challenging your first playthrough because there's secret tunnels that lead places, and if you don't know about the tunnels, they're kind of annoying to deal with. So, like, this goes ahead, and this brings you over here. So it's not super secret, but I'll show you in a minute where it gets more annoying. Let's go ahead and stop up here. And I'll make seven. I believe you can see up there that there's a thunder egg. So I'll have to get that in a moment. Another Bilby over there. That's where we were a minute ago. And actually, these crabs are fucking annoying. Like, they're not really challenging, but if you're not paying attention, they come up and hit you. It does hurt quite a bit. Come on. That's taken care of. Just gonna get these barrels. Not barrels, but crates. Oh, 
Now, of course, this is quicksand, so it will kill you if you uh, are not careful. So to go ahead and actually have an easy time here, what you can do is you can knock these coconuts down. You can jump on the coconuts. And you don't have to actually touch the quicksand, which is nice. Now they continually sink, so you gotta be fast. But it's not too bad. Another thunder egg. Let's quickly try to remember how we do this. I think we had to climb up to the other side. Yeah. Let's get this building. I've seen quite a few like concept darts around, but again, I'm not really focusing on those. There's just one right there. I'll get it in a few seconds, I guess. If they're there, I guess I get them, but. Like I said, I'm not really actively looking for them. Oh, there's another right there, actually. Alright, so this little shelf here that we're on, we have to be careful because there are little pits, which you can actually dive down into, and they have secrets. So that's why I was saying it's kind of annoying here, especially if you don't know. So like right here, yep, pull the cog. That's kind of frustrating. That's the big one right here. So that's really nothing special. And then, where is it? Here it is. This one you have to know about. Then you come over this way. And we're at the shipwreck. This took me forever to find in my uh, last playthrough. It's been such a long time since I played the game, and without knowing that that's there, it's a pain. It really is. So we'll go up here first, then go down to the, uh, the shipwreck, because in the shipwreck there's going to be another thunder egg. So one more golden cog, and that's it. Yeah, if you look around, this is where we just were. Oh, no. All right, I'm gonna cut. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So we're not gonna go that way, because there's nothing really there. But there's a Bilby over here. quickly get them. That free life over there I'm not really interested in. We're not going to get that. Looks like there's another uh, concept art this way. Just for fun we'll get that.
actually in a nest. This is a thunder egg. Get it? Yeah. Alright. These are the last opals. Maybe. Ah, missing one. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. Huh. Alright, well, there's a thunder egg inside the shipwrecks. So let's go ahead and get that. And. You do that. Bye. There's a part of the ship we gotta shoot into. I forget where it is. Is it down this? Let's see. No. Where is it? I kind of just saw there's a button I need to press anyways that I'm looking for. And one of the openings to the ship is where I'm supposed to go ahead and hit. There it is, okay. Which, I believe, yeah, pops open this door and then there's a thunder egg. Yeah, Alright, so this area we should be done with. Which is nice, and if we check the game info, we have the race, we have one more Bilby, and we have the Opals, and Golden Cog, and one Opal, so. I guess I'm probably going to cut around until I find the last couple pieces, because this could take a little while, so I'll be back. Alright guys, I don't know if you saw that, but I just found the last Opal. I was looking over in this direction. And it was just sitting on an island, so... Here's the last opal. That wasn't too bad. That was probably like 20 seconds it took me, and I was just leaving that area anyway. So that wasn't too bad. So that, of course, that still leaves a golden cog and a build. So I will return when I find either of those things. So, Alright guys, I found the last buildy. Wasn't too bad. This is probably another, I don't know, 30 seconds. So, not too, too bad. So just one golden cog is missing. And then we have to go ahead and we have to uh, race Rex. And then collect our uh, prize for the Opal. So, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Why are we here? We're going to quickly get our last... Uh, not our last, but our Thunder Egg video was. And that was a weird camera position. Um, I'm gonna check on the top there one more time. There was a uh, concept art. I don't know why I decided to grab some concept arts. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I have like 709, so I saw one. If I get 9 to 9, yay. If not, oh well. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but. Look how quickly grab that. Alright guys, I found the last golden cog. It took quite a bit of time. I uh, got frustrated, walked away. Eventually I looked it up on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Did I mention I just beat the game like two weeks ago and I did find everything? So, should have known where it was. That's okay. Um, so those are all done mistake and the last thing I need to do is the race and then I don't this level. Let's go ahead and hop back here. Let's quickly do the race. And then of course we will be done. So Ty, are you up for a race? See if you can keep up. Alright, I had a bet. A little bit of a bad start right there. Let's see if we can catch it. Yeah, 
there, but I think once we get on the land we can catch up, because he's actually, he's fairly slow in land. And I did mess up there as well. Action fairly certain we lost. Yeah, we lost. Now let's go to the top. Do we go to the top? If we go to the top, I won. Remember going all the way to the top. Okay, we won. Never mind. This is a horrible time. I guess I do need to remember that this is a kid's game. fall at any point during this. That'll bring a new time to just be game over. It's not too bad. There we go. You little ripper. You fair ink and beat me. I've trained you well, mate. My uh, swimming coach gave this to me when I first beat him in a race. Now I want you to have it. Gee, thanks, mate. Cool! Alright, so everything this level is done. Just gotta find the mushrooms to go back. Right here. Actually, you know what? Just exit the level. I don't feel like climbing the uh, the mountain again to get there. All right, so that is 100% complete. So something I will have us do right now is since we do have a total of 20 golden cogs, we only need 15 for a new boomerang. Let's get a new boomerang. Why not? Oh my! you found enough golden cogs, haven't you? These will be perfect for my latest invention. I call it the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Ty, it's a machine I designed to create cutting-edge techno-rangs. Oh my! This is very nice. It's a Zoomerang. The Zoomerang has a built-in telescopic aimer. Press the TIE's view button to activate it. Use the movement stick to aim and the camera stick to zoom in and out on enemies for greater throwing accuracy. Now worries. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. Alright, so we have... <clears throat> Alright, so we have the Zoomerang now, and actually, you can play, but if you press R... Yeah, it showed the whole wheel, so this is all the boomerangs that we will get. Um, so yeah, select the, uh, the Zoomerang. So like, for instance, I believe we can... Yep, there we go. There is... A wonderful, wonderful rainbow scale we can't get yet, but we can get it in the next episode, I believe. No, we can't. I'm lying to you, actually. And uh, a couple more episodes we can get it. But yep, yeah, right there. Anyway, this also is very much further than any of the other boomerangs. See, I would never be able to reach that, so... I will see you guys in the next episode. 
Bye bye. Take care. Let me know what you guys think about maybe a Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. And I also managed to scrounge up Luigi's Mansion, which I was thinking about maybe doing that too. I'm just kind of pulling out games from my childhood that I would like to play and have fun with because I really only feel like playing games in this channel that I have fun with, and those are a couple I've had a lot of fun with, so, yes. Anyway, bye-bye. Take care.